Well, new at six, Steve Jobs, anti-tech, the New York Times reporting the Apple founder actually would not let his own kids play with computers. And Len Ramirez found some other Silicon Valley parents agree, no more iPads as pacifiers. In Palo Alto, perhaps the hottest tech center on the planet, parents are starting to draw the line on giving their kids technology. If they think playing is sitting in a sedentary place, with their thumbs, sure, it can be detrimental. Ann Wilson says she doesn't want her kids using tablets, laptops, or phones until at least middle school. And Salwa Ansari says she and her husband actively keep technology gadgets away from their daughter, Noura. I think it's great for adults to a point, but um, I think you just want them to have natural childhoods. It's so hard now to have a natural childhood, right? Get them out and play. And we call it the iPad. In fact, even Steve Jobs, a New York Times reported Sunday, kept iPads and iPhones away from his three kids. I'm really surprised about that. Um, frankly, I would think that he would have really encouraged it. But that, of course, did not stop him from selling hard to the rest of us. It's unbelievably great, way better than a laptop. Child development specialists say for most families, technology isn't a bad thing, but it should be limited to create more well-rounded children. There definitely is a time to be engaged in technology and to learn how to use technology, but there's also the importance of social skills and having those personal interactions with other people. Some parents say the more technology, the better. Ethan Tran plays with iPhones and his own iPad. It's really interactive, so he could you know, he could puzzles and games, uh, matching games and stuff that he could learn. He also takes photos with his dad's iPhone and he's just 22 months old. In Palo Alto, Len Ramitas, KPIX5. Access to technology has been linked to improved reading skills, but a recent study also found too much screen time can cause vision problems.